يلا نبدا Are we starting? Hiya, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll show you how to do a quick easy ombre using an eyeshadow. I've already buffed the nail and now I'm just applying a base coat. Make sure you cover everything and then once that's done, cure the nail. For this ombre look, I chose a nudish color. I thought it would look very pretty with the accent color I'm ombreing with. You can choose any color that you'd like. Once you're done, cure the nail. I cure my nails after every step that I do or every application. If you want a translucent or a jelly look, one layer should be enough. However, I did not want that, so I applied a second layer as well. After applying the second coat, I applied a matte top coat, cured that as well. Make sure you seal all the sides and all the corners and edges, and then cure the nail. Next, I took a non-lint or lint-free cotton and I put some alcohol on it, 70%, and I wiped off the top to take off the tackiness and the stickiness. Now, the matte top coat that I used is actually not tacky or sticky, but I did it for the purpose of this video in case anyone has a matte top coat that is. You need to do that in order for the eyeshadow to work and stick on it and go on it smoothly. I'll be using the Revolution by Revolution London Make Makeup Eyeshadow Palette in the color of Vacay. I'll start by applying it at the top where I want the ombre to start and then I'll make my way down, buffing it out, going around. I wanted it to go around the nail, so I applied all around the edges and then I went over it to get the color that I wanted and the color that I was happy with. As I was spreading the eyeshadow and buffing it, I went and added more eyeshadow at the top just to make it darker and for the ombre to show more. Then I'm going to flip over the eyeshadow cotton or whatever stick thing you want to call it. And I'm going to use it just to buff the bottom and kind of like blur the line out and clean up any mess that has occurred. Once I'm happy with that, I'm applying a top coat on it and then curing it. For some odd reason, my hand decided to apply the top coat in a very weird way. My brain was confused. I was confused, but my hand just did what it wanted. But anyways, just apply the top coat and make sure you cover everything. After applying the top coat, cure the nail and then add any little gems that you'd like. I've had this flower gem for a while or charm that I really wanted to add and I thought it would look pretty cute. And of course it took me forever and a day to decide how I wanted to put it on. And I know most people like to put the charms facing, I guess, away from the client, but I kind of like seeing them on my nails. Uh, you know, it's more for me than for others, I guess. That's the way I see it. But anyways, I'm using IBD gel, a builder's gel, and applying the gems. Once I do put them in the position that I do like, I cure it. And for the final step, I apply top coat and cure it. This eyeshadow method could be used to create the Korean blush style or design nails. It's very easy, quick, and if you make a mistake, it's not difficult to take off or like erase and redo it. Especially if you are a beginner, I think this is a quick, easy way to accomplish the designs that you want until you actually learn how to do it with gels. If you liked this video and found it useful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you for watching this video. If you are new here, welcome to the Pancake Family.
拜。